Hey everybody, uh, welcome back. This is an update to uh, my part 4 video tutorial on handling key inputs and character movement and whatnot. Uh, I, in that video I had been complaining or talking about how uh, you know when I was moving my characters with the key press events and stuff he would halt and pause when I changed directions. I knew why it was happening but I didn't know a way around it. Uh, the reason I'm posting this video is to show you that I have uh, after a little bit of research figured out how to overcome this. In fact I figured out a better way to handle uh, key presses in general. So uh, let's go ahead and jump into the code here. Time Lord uh, called me out on my typing inefficiencies. <laughs> Apparently I was way too slow there and not using copy and paste enough. I'm going to be doing that here just to keep this video short because he's right. <laughs> So what I'm going to do is bring in a variable to uh, monitor whether the key is pushed or not. And then I'm going to call the library for um, the, the key state using uh, user32. And then I'm going to have a parameter for the key value that's been entered, stored as an integer, and then we're going to return a short value on that. And then we need one more function to check the key state. Okay, So I'm going to do public function get key state and then I'm going to use uh, the key value and we're going to pass this as a boolean so it'll be a true false and uh, so we're going to dim s is a short and then s is going to equal the get async key state for key 1 and then if it's 0 we'll return false if it's otherwise it'll return true okay so it'll say uh, yes a key has been pressed but it's got to be a specific key so we will come down here to where we had our uh, Form one key press event we'd added in the previous tutorial. I'm just going to get rid of that because we do not want that anymore. And this key up, kill it. Okay. So now what we're going to do is create a new sub to set our movement direction based upon uh, the get key state values. Okay. So I'm going to do a private sub. Uh, set move direction and I'm not even going to pass any parameters this is just gonna do a few tasks for us um, so what I'm gonna do is just say if get key state for key W that's our up button equals true then change the move direct direction to 1 okay and then I'm gonna go ahead and do that for each direction we want to move. Okay, so I'm going to do W, S for down, A for left, and D for right. And then when we're done there, we will evaluate to see if the button is still down. This will keep us uh, from halting uh, or allow us to stop if, if it's not down. Uh, so I'll say if get uh, key state uh, keys dot w equals false and I'm going to go ahead and just drop these down the line I'm going to copy this and and finally then and if we'll have to kill the end of this line here because we don't have any more values um, so we will do we'll check w s a and d 
So essentially, all of these have to be true for it to uh, change the move direction. Or, I'm sorry, yeah, for it to stop moving. Okay, so we'll set move direction equals false there. Sorry, I have, I have an error because I used then twice. And <laughs> it wants to correct me and put it back in. Okay, so anyways, uh, if no keys are held down, then the move direction will be zero. If any of these are pressed down still, it'll keep moving. And that'll keep us from halting. So I'm going to do one last thing here. I'll say if the move direction uh, is greater than or less than zero, then the last direction, that's this, remember this is the one we used for uh, the direction that our character is facing when we stop moving. So we've set the values here and then the last direction will be whatever direction he was moving. Um, this just says that if it is zero, don't put zero, otherwise he'll change directions to be facing back up. Okay, so let's see, we have to do one more thing. We're going to go to our input since we added a new uh, move direction checker. I'm going to say set move direction. And then we should be able to uh, kick this off and run it. So I will do that. Press play. And I should be able to change directions without halting at all. And it looks like it's working beautifully. Um, I'm going to change his move speed, make sure everything still functions as we desire. Moved it down. Oh yeah, look at that. So, I think that concludes this uh, update. Uh, one thing, one word of caution is uh, I haven't tested this library on older systems or anything else. I'm doing this on Windows 7 64-bit. Um, if you're on XP or something, I don't know if this will function the same. I'm pretty sure all of them have uh, this library, but I don't know if the calls on it are different. So you'll just have to try it, and if it doesn't work, let me know, and we'll see if we can figure out another way. But um, Or we could just dig around Google. Anyways, I hope this was helpful. I know it was for me, so um, keep in touch, and... Good luck on your projects. I will catch you later. Bye-bye.